In this lesson, we'll cover the power and cooling options. These options are used to manage the Envy's power uses, such as how much power the Envy draws, its fan speed, and subsequently, how quietly it runs. There are essentially two ways of doing this, powering off completely or placing the unit into standby mode. This is controlled by assigning the desired action to the power button using the remote control configuration menu. We'll start by looking at the available options that can be assigned to the power button using this menu. Notice here that the power button is configured to power the unit off after prompting for confirmation. If you prefer to turn the unit off without needing confirmation, select the power off option without confirm in the setting name. You can also power off the MV by pressing the power button on the unit itself. It's important to just press and release. Holding the button down for several seconds forces an immediate shutdown, which is not recommended. When the MV is powered off, it draws virtually no power. However, once the unit is powered off, it cannot be turned back on using the remote control. Instead, you'll need to press the power button on the unit or use a control system like Control 4 or Crestron, or a home automation system like SmartThings or Hubitat that can send a wake on land command to the Envy. If you don't have an automation system or you're unfamiliar with using wake on land, a good alternative is to put the Envy into standby mode. In standby mode, the Envy can be woken by pressing the power button on the unit or with any button on the remote control. You can choose to use standby instead of powering off with or without confirmation by assigning the standby command to the remote control's power button. In standby mode, the Envy draws a small amount of power and takes about 15 seconds longer to start up compared to when the unit is fully powered off. When in standby mode, the power light on the Envy slowly fades in and out. Now, let's move on to the power and cooling configuration menu to explore more of these settings. The first option here is the auto power on where the Envy can be set to automatically turn off or go into standby mode if there's no incoming signal after a set amount of time. Next, the power consumption preference is used to choose the power draw. Higher power maximizes the Envy's performance. These options include green, which uses the least amount of power, balanced, and go nuts, which maximizes the power draw. The Go Nuts option can eke out more performance depending on the situation. Power usage is a concern. Green or balance may be your preferred option. Lastly, let's discuss the available fan curves. The main options are silent, balance, and rack. In silent mode, the MV runs warmer but is quieter, suitable if the MV is close to your seating position. For MV units located in another room where noise is less of a concern, Rack mode is recommended, allowing the fans to run faster, which helps the unit run cooler. Even in rack mode, the MV is likely to be among the quieter components in your rack. Alternatively, the balance mode offers a good mix of both quiet and cool operation. The fan settings are dynamic, adjusting based on the unit's ventilation and power demands based on video processing options in use. For instance, even in rack mode, the fans may run very quietly if the unit is well ventilated or not running under heavy load. Conversely, in silent mode, the fans will spin up and run louder if the unit becomes too warm due to inadequate ventilation. For those who like, there's also a custom option to adjust the fan speeds for the GPU, the case fans, and the CPU all separately, and even to customize these fan curves. This is very rarely needed, especially with the MV Mark II, which runs significantly quieter and cooler than the Mark I. Good ventilation is the key to ensuring cool and quiet operation. We discuss the importance of ventilation in our lessons covering the exterior of the MV and on racking the unit. Okay, now that we covered how to manage the power and cooling options for the MV, it's time to move on to our next lesson.